trips. I'm a mycologist at Montana State University. morel spot so I won't give exact directions to the spot but we are uh, down in the cottonwoods along a small stream uh, somewhere in the vicinity of uh, oh how about Gallatin County looking for yellow morels The morel season uh, starts in the spring and it can be anywhere from May until the beginning of June. And then we go down along the cottonwoods, along small creeks and the larger rivers. We look for cottonwood areas and along the larger streams we'll even look for um, juniper trees interspersed with those cottonwoods. So it's a little bit of a uh, high pH soil and we just start walking around in those cottonwoods along the creeks and looking for yellow morels. A lot of times when we're collecting yellow morels we go back to the same spot year after year and the reason is the actual fungal organism is underground and it is composed of tiny threads called mycelium and that's the actual organism, that's the fungus. When they reproduce then they send up yellow morels and those are the fruiting bodies, that's the reproductive part of the fungus. If you find one morel it's best to just sit down, um, get comfortable and look around because there are probably other yellow morels in the vicinity and they tend to hide, they look like pine cones, although you're not in a pine forest, you're in the cottonwoods, and you want to look from all angles. They could be behind a stump, behind a log, uh, but a lot of them might be coming up from the same mycelium, so they'll all be in a, a little group or cluster. So if you find a morel hot spot, sit down, take a break, look around. Originally, I was interested in mushroom hunting because of the idea of free food from the forest and uh, I was living in a small mountain town in Colorado and some of the what we call the old timers from Europe were collecting mushrooms in the forest so we would follow them to see what they were collecting. Uh, there weren't morels, this was too high elevation, this was 10,000 feet, at least not the yellow morels but a lot of other edible kinds of mushrooms uh, that they were collecting in the forest and so I learned from them. I was just reading an article on harvesting mushrooms and there's a long-term study, it's mostly for chanterelles, but uh, this study has gone on now for 20 years and the question is should you cut the, morale, or cut the mushroom, should you twist it out of the ground, uh, what's the best way and so far they have not found a difference for harming that plant so whether you cut it carefully or twist it out of the ground right now the science tells us there's no difference okay so here's a a nice yellow morel nestled in the in the leaves and uh, I'm just going to carefully cut the stem. Maybe I could have cut it a little bit lower. And there it is. Beautiful yellow morel. I'm going to, uh, you see the pits and the ridges along the cap. And the stem is hollow. So you can see the hollow inside. And there it is, the cap and the stem are all one big hollow. This one, I would not wash this before cooking. This one's nice and clean. It was picked clean. Um, no dirt on the outside. No insect critters on the inside. So it is ready for the frying pan. 
and you don't need to cut every one in half. You can just cook the whole mor morel whole um, slowly in the frying pan. It needs to be well cooked. If it's not well cooked, it's not that digestible. So cook it well with butter or olive oil.